Well, you've got to give the bat a lot of credit tonight. I thought they played extremely well. I thought they started uh, right from the get-go tonight. Luke Babbitt hit a big three to open the game, and, and away they went. We never got the game at the tempo that we wanted to have it at. And uh, that just goes to a credit to a, you know, a very good, very experienced uh, Nevada team. You know, I thought we had we had chances there in the first half to keep them close, had some open shots, and didn't knock them down. And, and then, uh, you know, they got their little spurt. But you got to give them the credit. They played very well tonight. That was 21-16, I think, and then they went on a 27 run and just really kind of opened it up. What was going on with, with you guys at that time? Well, i got to think about that run. Um, you know, I, I think, again, you got to give them credit. I thought they did a good job of executing their offense. Uh, you know, we got in some, uh, we, we played some zone and they knocked down the open shots. And I thought offensively, especially in the first half, we got some wide open looks, we just didn't knock them down. And, and uh, when you, if you're going to beat a team on their home court uh, in, a, in a game this big, you've got to play very, very well and, and you got to have things go your way. And I, I thought we missed some open shots and, and I thought they did a good job of taking advantage of. Of, um, of all their opportunities. Talk about Luciano's play of AP and uh, Jefferson City keep you guys in the game for about the first eight or ten minutes. They kept it very close. Yeah, Luciano shot it very well tonight. Uh, he got some open looks and knocked him down. And, uh, you know, the last three games of this year, uh, we started starting him on senior week, and I thought he played as, as uh, good as three games as he's played uh, uh, probably all season long, and especially tonight. His uh, shooting early in the game definitely, definitely kept us in it. Luciano, I know it's kind of kind of hurt right now, but uh, could you talk about uh, your game? You really uh, shot it well, particularly in the start. Just like, just like my coach said, like they gave a potential shoot, and I was wide open. The only thing I got to do is just shoot it and be, be confident and make those thirds. You got my team. You, you guys on offense, you, you made ten of your first twenty shots, and you look up and, and you're still down almost double digits. Yeah. How frustrating was that? Because on offense, you, you know, you were doing the right things, getting shots, and, and 50% is pretty good. Yeah, it was a little frustrating. We kept saying just weather the storm, you know, they're going to miss some, but, uh, man, they kept shooting a man. And I thought they did a great job uh, finding the open shooters. You know, Ray Kramer got loose for a couple, and, and um, you've got to give them credit. I, I thought they played a very good first half. I don't know what David said, and, and, and they said here to the media to you guys, but I thought they played it about as good a first half as I've seen them play all year long, and they're going to be a tough out uh, in this tournament. Luciano, uh, when you know that uh, Luke Babbitt's going to be guarding you in the game, uh, does, uh, does that make you pick your own just a little bit more? Yeah, I, <clears throat> we've been playing like, you know, against each other for like, what, to the fifth game? So, you know, I, I, mean, I know exactly what he's doing, he probably knows exactly what I do. So, when they get in the court, it's like, one-on-one, -on -one, you got, I got to do my best, and I got to do his best. So, Play really good tonight, and <clears throat> and he gave some space to shoot, and that's all I gotta do is make those threes. Matt, can you just talk about you know just the, the disappointment of having this year end the way it did, and, and maybe not go as, uh, as as well as you had hoped, you know, from a team standpoint? Yeah, um, it didn't go as, as good as you know we all hope, but you know, that's how things go sometimes. You, know, you gotta get through it. You know, I mean, uh, all you can do is tell your teammates is to, to stay together. And, that's exactly what we did. We fought hard. You know, but um, Nevada is a good team. Uh, they, they are the top two teams for sure. And um, we just got to give them all the credit. They got some good players. And um, we just didn't, uh, just didn't bring enough tonight. Mac, uh, things got a little bit emotional, I think, toward, toward the end of the game for you. Uh, it seems like you guys had shots and, 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 and looks, and uh, it just wasn't falling tonight. Yeah, it just wasn't falling. You know, for whatever reason. Following tonight, um, but I mean, like I said, things happen like that. You know, you just gotta fight through it. You know, and don't think about things like that. Like if your shots not falling, you can't think about that. You know, you just gotta keep shooting and keep helping your team whatever way you can. You know, um, could be like getting assists, getting rebounds, playing harder defense. You know, you just gotta bring more to the game. And um, when you're not having a good shooting night, you know, a couple of us didn't have a good shooting night. Couldn't knock down a couple of shots, but you know, it's how things go sometimes. You, know, you just gotta get past it and, and, like I said, stay together as a team, keep fighting. Coach, uh, you're losing a you know, couple of good seniors on this team, including the guys right next to you. Uh, looking ahead, you know, where does the program go from, from this point? Well, obviously, we lose five really good seniors. 
and Michael told him in the locker room after the game, five seniors has built a great foundation in Idaho basketball. Uh, when we came here two years ago and, and these guys came here with us and we, we sat in the locker room, if you'd have told us we were going to have 32 wins in two years, we'd all took it and went to year three. Uh, we would all take taken uh, being a competitive team in the WAC year in year out because when we came to Idaho, they had only won seven WAC games in three years. And we have the fourth best winning percentage or the fourth most wins amongst WAC teams um, in, the, in the two years we've been here. So the one thing I'll tell you is, is, is these guys uh, have done a great job of building a, a really good foundation at Idaho. And uh, we're real excited about our future. Do we lose five really good seniors? Yes, we do. Do we have good players coming and good players in the program? Yes, we do. And the one thing I'll tell you is, is these five seniors have represented themselves very well. Um, uh, all of them are online to graduate. Lucy's got an extra semester, but Mac is already graduating. Uh, and, and, and Steph has only got three units to, to pass a semester. And so we've, we've done about as good a job as you could possibly do of changing the culture of Idaho basketball. And uh, it's not easy. Uh, you know, it's, it's not easy, but these guys have done a great job. And like Max said, uh, they fought hard all year long. Um, things didn't go exactly perfect this year. We've had a lot of adversity, but we've kept fighting. And, uh, you know, uh, they've done a good job. We beat a top 25 team early in the year. We went on the road and won at Utah. Uh, we won three road games uh, this year. There, there's so many positives that have been built in these two years that I can't tell you how proud I am of these guys. And uh, that's how you start a program. And that's how you start, that's how you build a foundation. And, and it's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. And uh, I can't tell you how proud I am of those guys. Coach, uh, brought, it, brought in a lot of new pieces uh, this year. Uh, do you think that maybe it just didn't kind of all come together? I know you had a lot of high hopes with, with a lot of talent on the floor. Well, I think you can analyze that forever. Uh, you know, but I, I think the thing that you, you have to, uh, you never know exactly when you're putting together a team how it's all going to fit together, but but no, I, I, the new pieces were, were there last year. Uh, no, they're good kids, they worked hard. Um, you know, I'm not going to dive into this, that, and the other thing. I, I think that that uh, we worked as hard as we possibly can. We, we grinded every night. and. And, you know, we lost seven games by three or less points. Um, so, you know, it, it was just like Max said earlier, things sometimes just don't go your way. And, and, and we had a few of those nights this year. Hey, Mac, you've kind of been the leader on this team the last two years. Talk about what Coach Verlin was saying earlier about kind of getting this program back on its feet, almost to the point, almost where it was when your, when your father played here. Yeah, ain't no question I've been the leader of this team, you know. Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. You know, Coach V, Coach V just, he just kind of let me just go. Kind of, to be honest with you, he kind of let me just go. But when, but when, um, you know, the time is right, you know, he he comes and tells me what what I need to do. If that's what you ask him, is that kind of what you ask him? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been a pleasure to play for Coach V. You know, and um, I'll never forget this experience. And um, I'm just so glad I came to U of I and and Coach V got the job. You know, it's kind of a blessing. You know, so. Um, I, I have fun here, and um, you know, um, I, I will say that um, this this program is going going in the right direction. You know, it started with me and Lucy and the other three seniors. You know, it started with us. You know, and and we should be proud of you know what we started here. You know, um, I hope that you know Vandal Nation looks back and you know remembers us. You know, um, I think we did good enough these last two years that you know we, should, we deserve that credit. You know, so um, you know. Um, that's all I gotta say about that. But um, it was a pleasure uh, playing for this coaching staff. Uh, Luciano, what are your plans uh, for this? I, I have no idea. I just, I don't know. I'm He's gonna finish his degree. <laughs> yeah, pretty much it. So far, that's all I want him to do. My degree, then play, some, play somewhere else. We we'll hope maybe we can get it done in the summer. That's what he promised me. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay, you guys all heard.